Today, let's create a capsule wardrobe example for the flamboyant natural kibby type. My goal for this series is not to provide the perfect capsule wardrobe for a specific body type, but to show a few concepts, items, and style elements that you can adopt for your body type. Like I've said in all of my kibby capsule wardrobe videos, I want to break out of those common kibby stereotypes and show you how you can really own your personal style while still choosing some items that honor your body type. If you're not sure what your kibby body type is, I'll leave links to tons of resources in the description box below. Before we jump into the description of the flamboyant natural kibbe type. I just want to say that everything I'm presenting here is my own interpretation and application of Kibbe's concepts and may not align with his intentions for the system. Basil. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. I'll always encourage you to check out the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group if you want to learn more straight from the source. All of the Kibbe body types are primarily described by their unique mix of yin or feminine traits and yang or masculine traits. The flamboyant natural woman is a blend of yin and yang, meaning that almost every individual feature is not distinctly yin nor yang. However, the flamboyant natural woman has a distinctly dominant yang and dramatic undercurrent in her bone structure and facial features. She has a long bone structure with broad shoulders, narrow hips, and a sporty figure. She often has a straight torso, but may have waist definition or even a conventional hourglass figure as determined by her measurements. She often has a moderate to long, bluntly angular face shape with broad or prominent facial features. Eye sizes and shapes vary widely, while lips will usually range from moderate to wide and sometimes thin. Some great examples of flamboyant natural women are Cindy Crawford, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Ciara. Keywords for the flamboyant natural include long, sweeping, relaxed, free-flowing, strong, effortless, athletic, organic, energetic, and unconstructed. So now that we know a little more about the flamboyant natural body type, let's talk about the color palette for this capsule wardrobe. In Kibbe's Metamorphosis, he talks about color recommendations for each of the body types. However, I disagree that color type is explicitly tied to body type. It is true that lighter, more muted colors will create a dreamy or romantic effect, and darker or more saturated colors will create a dramatic effect. However, you will look best in the colors that share the most qualities with your natural coloring. If you're interested in getting some help determining your color type or your body type, I'll leave links to my body and color typing services in the description box below. For this capsule, we'll use a color palette with a cool undertone. I think this color palette could be suitable for a winter or a summer color type in the warmer months, depending on your preferences. I want to include some outfits with complementary colors, so I'll start with a medium sage green and deep burgundy. I think that saturated blues will look great with these colors as well, so let's add this denim blue, saturated azure blue, and a light blue shade into the mix. For the neutrals, I'll primarily use black and white, but let's also include charcoal gray and tan to add some dimension. Now that we have our color palette, let's put together our flamboyant natural capsule wardrobe. Just as I did in my previous videos, I'll be showing you some examples of flamboyant natural outfits that don't follow all of the kiddie rules. But first, let's look at some items that are harmonious with the flamboyant natural body type. For tops, I love this strapless tunic length top. The strapless neckline is great for the flamboyant natural because it shows off her amazing shoulders and doesn't restrict her movement. It's also classy and minimalist with just a bit of a sporty touch. I think this would look amazing over some straight leg jeans or a pair of flowy pants. Some great basics for the flamboyant natural include asymmetric tops, v-necks, and slightly oversized button-down shirts. For bottoms, a straight leg jean or trouser is amazing for the flamboyant natural. A great pair of straight leg jeans that aren't too tight are one of my personal favorites for the flamboyant natural. They're laid back without being too relaxed and provide comfort and ease of movement. For dresses, keep things long, draped, and flowy. A flowy v-neck maxi dress or slip dress with a bias cut would be excellent. And for jackets, slightly oversized and longer silhouettes are perfect no matter what the style. 
This denim shirt jacket, faux leather jacket, and blazer all fit the bill while providing completely different vibes for different occasions. Now let's put together the rest of the capsule. In addition to the sleeveless top, asymmetric tank, v-neck bodysuit, and white shirt that we chose earlier, let's add a few more basics. A scoop neck Henley is a nice casual layering piece with just enough detail to be basic without being boring. Although items that fit tightly in the shoulder are not typically recommended for the flamboyant natural type, it's nice to have the option to mix oversized pieces with tighter pieces as well. Another great basic is this gray oversized cardigan, relaxed striped t-shirt, and white Hoodie. For a bit of interest, let's also add this green crew neck sweatshirt, blue halter tank, blue and yellow printed t-shirt, and this black t-shirt bodysuit with intriguing cutouts at the hip. For bottoms, let's add a pair of loose white jeans with pleating at the waist. Although not in line with the traditional kitty recommendations, I think this style works well for most flamboyant naturals by adding just a little bit of volume at the hip, which can help to balance their wider shoulders. The pleats can also provide some additional room for movement. Just be sure to choose pleats that aren't too stiff or structural and a wider leg pant to create that relaxed vibe that's the most flattering on the flamboyant natural. Let's also choose a pair of wide leg cargo jeans and a pair of patterned relaxed trousers as our statement pieces. In addition to the maxi dress that we chose earlier, let's add this cotton shirt dress with a knotted waist. This is a great length for the flamboyant natural and will be most flattering when worn with a few buttons unbuttoned to create an open neckline. The knot at the hip creates a slightly dropped waist or can be adjusted upwards depending on what feels most comfortable or flattering to the individual. It also creates some visual weight at the hip which can be quite flattering on flamboyant naturals. Now let's choose some shoes. A pair of black Vans Old School are a great and affordable casual option for everyday wear. I also want to add a pair of tan slide sandals to bring a little bit of color into our black and white outfits, making them instantly more wearable in the summer months. For work, a pair of chunky loafers are fun and practical. And finally, this pair of silver-heeled sandals is a trendy choice, yet a classic silhouette that can be worn for many years to come. For accessories, I chose three bags. This woven bag from Miu Miu is super cool and a great piece to make any outfit feel more summery. It's a decent size and has a bluntly angular shape, which resonates with the flamboyant natural body type. For casual wear, I love this black and white slouchy bag. It can be worn on the shoulder, around the hips, or crossbody for maximum versatility and adds a lot of visual interest to an outfit with the contrasting strap. Finally, this silver bag with oversized sequins is a great nighttime or occasion wear option. I also chose two pairs of sunglasses, both aviator style, but the first pair is a bit more square with a light brown frame, and the second pair is more rounded with a black frame. And finally, a pair of chunky silver hoop earrings that will coordinate well with our other silver accessories. I like that we have a full set of shoes and accessories in black, silver, and tan that we can pair for maximum coordination or mix and match depending on the look. The final capsule includes 12 tops, four bottoms, two dresses, three jackets, four shoes, and six accessories for 31 items which can create at least 69 interchangeable outfits. Do you know your type? Have you found this system to be useful in your own wardrobe? I'd love to hear about your experience. As usual, links to all of the items featured in this video can be found in the description box below, as well as some great resources if you're interested in diving deeper into kitty, color palettes, or capsule wardrobes. If you genuinely like this video or found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.